Good morning and uh, welcome to uh, St. Andrew's homepage on Facebook um, and to our morning prayer this morning, the Thursday, the 23rd of April, um, which is St. George's Day, um, patron saint of England um, and uh, an interesting example of um, uh, of courage, which uh, we'll use, be using as our theme for this morning as a result of that. Um, we're going to be uh, looking at three things um, from the Bible. So if you have a Bible handy, you might want to uh, turn and, and put a thumb mark in those or whatever you do. Um, and that's Psalm 5, which we'll be reading together. And then we'll be reading part of Joshua chapter 1 uh, and also Ephesians chapter 6. So uh, if you'd like to get those together, uh, as a liturgy for today, we're going to be using the Worship at Home book, as we've done in uh, several times in the past. And I'm just going to give us some calming music for the background. So uh, bear with me while I move around to do just that. OK. So to... Uh, to start off this morning, we're going to start with um, the statement from Nahum um, to remind us, you know, of the strength we have in God. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O oh Lord, open our lips and together we say our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As the music plays, we're just going to uh, give ourselves a few moments to center ourselves, to look inwards instead of outwards at the busyness, the anxiety, all the things, bring them in, breathe them in, and offer them out as we breathe out to God. So let's do that. Let's think about breathing. Let's calm our hearts and minds. We breathe in all the things which we've already got on our minds, we're gonna take up today the people we know we need to talk to, the things we know we need to do. We bring them to you and we breathe them out to you, Lord, to ask your spirit on them, on those conversations with those people. We breathe in the anxieties that we might be concerned about today. The problems, the difficult conversations, the challenges. We breathe them in. And we then let out that tension as we give it to you again, Lord. The risen Lord who has told us that we can leave everything at the foot of your cross and you lift our burdens and lift us. Lord, we offer you today. We offer you today by offering our lives, our hearts, our minds, our energy. Amen. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts and minds on fire with that love for you, now and forever. Amen. We're going to turn to Psalm 5 now. Um, and as we've done in other mornings and evenings, um, I invite you, if you have a Bible, to share the in the even verses. So I'll read the odd verses and you can uh, read the even verses with me wherever you are and uh, thank you also for uh, your comments on the posts as they're coming in and good morning to you all and and uh, just as a reminder if you have any 
prayer points when we get to prayers later that you want to speak out please do just feel free to write them in the posts or or mention them and i'll, I'll try and keep an eye on and say them again myself but let's turn now to psalm 5 as we use this as a song that we can share together and with the lord so psalm 5 i'll read the odd verses and you join in with me on the evenings give ear to my words o lord consider my lamentation hearken to the voice of my crying my king and my god for to you i make my prayer in the morning lord you will hear my voice early in the morning i make my my appeal to you and look up for you are the god who takes no pleasure in wickedness no evil can dwell with you the boastful cannot stand in your sight you hate all those that work wickedness you destroy those who speak lies the bloodthirsty and deceitful the lord will abhor but as for me through the greatness of your mercy i will come into your house i will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you lead me lord in your righteousness because of my enemies make your way straight before my face for there is no truth in their mouth in their heart is destruction their throat is an open sepulcher and they flatter with their tongue punish them O god let them fall through their own devices because of their many transgressions cast them out for they have rebelled against you but let all who take refuge in you be glad let them sing out their joy forever you will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you for you O lord will bless the righteous and with your favor you will defend them as with a shield glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. We're going to read now from um, Joshua and then go straight on to the reading from Ephesians because they both uh, have interesting relevance to today when we think of um, St. George and um, the courage he showed in defeating the dragon as the myth goes, but being a, a symbol of courage and togetherness and the strength we have with the lord joshua chapter 1 verse is 1 to 9 tell of the story of god's instructions to israel um just after the death of moses and it reads like this joshua chapter 1 verse 1 after the death of moses the servant of the lord the lord spoke to joshua son of nun moses assistant saying my servant moses is dead now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I'm giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea in the west, shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may be successful where you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you will be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, 
for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I lost count of the number of times when I was reading in advance in that passage. It says, be strong and courageous, be true to the law, be straight on the path that I show you. And that theme of strength, that theme of wrapping ourselves in God's strength is what then comes out in the words from Paul in Ephesians. So if you'd like to turn to Ephesians chapter 6, we'll read verses 10 to 20, which are fairly famous readings and are obviously geared from um, an, a point of armour and swords and breastplates to, to it being St George's Day. But it still gives a very relevant message to the strength, the kind of strength, the kind of armour, the kind of courage we can give. Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of darkness, against his present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever you will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith which with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly, as I must speak. We might feel inadequate right now. We might feel that, as it says in Ephesians, the cosmic powers of this present darkness are just too oppressive, too overwhelming. Um, mythology or not, I wonder how St. George felt when he saw a dragon. So much bigger, so much more fierce. The legend goes that he prayed and with his God, who he knew needed to liberate the land, fought the dragon. We all have our own dragons at the moment of different shapes and sizes within and without. In Joshua, God makes clear that the promise he gives, which he couldn't fulfill through Moses, but he could still give to the rest of his people as a promise he had made, he was fulfilling if they stayed strong and courageous and focused on him. In Ephesians, Paul has said very clearly, this is the armour, these are the weapons, these are the tools and the surrounding that God gives us through the Holy Spirit. So the word for today, the words for today are strength and courage. We don't need to feel bowed, we can feel confident. Focus on Jesus, focus on what he did for us just a few days ago, 2,000 years ago. And take on the strength that God offers us so that we can fight the powers of darkness. We can feel like victors and we can win in Jesus' name as a family of God. And prevail. Uh, we're going to start um, our short prayer time now, actually with the college for today, as it's St George's Day. 
Um, so I'll read that and if you'd just like to turn in prayer now as I read and collect and then we'll move into a short time of open prayer for anybody who um, has any prayers they want to post or um, just say in your own space, in your own time, in your mind or out loud where you are. And then we'll close with the Lord's Prayer. So the collect for today, St George's Day, let us pray. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and his death. Give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him the fullness of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's turn to a time of reflection and asking and praise to our Lord. Lord, we pray for all those who are feeling oppressed, who are feeling depressed, who are feeling suppressed. Whether that's through the circumstances of lockdown and the virus, whether it's through illness, whether it's through other situations that still go on despite and as well as this virus, oppression, imprisonment, prejudice. Lord, we bring those chains to you, knowing you can break them with one blow. Help us to stand up and be courageous, Lord, to take on the armour you give us, to look straight at your path for us and tread boldly on it. In your name. Amen. We finish now with the our time of prayer with, with the Lord's Prayer. And we'll use the new version. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us today and preserve us from all evil. The Lord give us the armour and the courage we need to get through this day and to be your disciples, Lord, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us all throughout today and all we do bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for uh, worshipping with us this morning. And we hope it's been good for you and useful to you as it has been for me. Um, there'll be evening prayer this evening at 7 p.m. as there is. Um, uh, as so many of us are enjoying this time together and having this space in our virtual world and making maybe for some of us for the first time this kind of space in our lives and it's great to have shared with you. Thank you. Thank you Kath and thank you Sharon for your thanks as well and look forward to seeing you soon in the future physically and virtually and always through the bonds of our family and spirit god bless you <laughs>